there, everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, we are working on a really interesting uh, old church. 1927, I believe, is the era we're working on. And I've just climbed through this tiny little hole here up in the rafters of the church to find what is behind some of the very cool stained glass. And the really cool part about this particular stained glass is that it is set in plaster. So this is actually all these little hairs you see here. This is horse hair, that's how they used to do it. And a lot of the other stuff, which I'll show you in a minute, is actually set in stone, which is gonna be very difficult to remove, but we're really excited to find this little bit right here that is plaster so we can actually chisel it away. And I'll show you on the other side how cool this stained glass is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Nicely done. That's what you see. <laughs> so here we are in the main sanctuary. Those were the lights I was talking about up there that we'll be lowering down. And there's just some incredible stained glass in here. And beautiful wood and plaster work. And one of the coolest things that we're going to be removing here, well these exit signs are amazing, but also these doors. But you have to take them in jam because you probably couldn't find a carpenter who would actually be able to make a jam for them. But we will be getting 10 sets of these. We're going to have pews for as long as we can sell them. There's tons of them. Hey guys, we're uh, here at uh, the church up uh, in the University District. We've been here about like, six weeks now. Um, Doing a lot of work, just trying to strip this place as clean as we can uh, before the impending demo. Uh, you can probably hear in the background some, some noises, and that is the crew uh, removing the stained glass, which is very challenging because it is set in stone. Um, so I'll bring you into the sanctuary here, and you can see all that up there. Those were all stained glass, and we've removed them all. We've also been taking a lot of these really long pews, 16-foot pews, and cutting them down and reattaching the ends so we can have some more manageable sections. Let me bring you up here and we can see what the guys are working on. We got Scott and Matt here working with roto hammers, which is kind of like a little mini jackhammer, uh, to remove the same glass because there's no wood frame, there's nothing. These things you can see right here, they are just set in stone and just... Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Beautiful lights. We're pulling these down too. They're even bigger when you see them on the ground. So this is the process. Yo man, do a little video. To the is kind of the main entrance here. Beautiful doors we're going to be taking soon. We're waiting right until the end so we can have the place secure. But this is the stuff I'm going to be working on. These are cast iron newel posts. And these things are a big pain in the butt. But right now I'm going to be working on this really cool railing. And it just keeps going and going up and up and up. So we are going to be working on that and I'll just keep, uh, keep making these videos so we can post them once the project is complete. And you can see I'm just, just over here near the guys while they're working on this. I'm getting all this railing off and I just want to show you how incredibly complicated this stuff is. So over here we're set in to the, um, the brick here, I actually had to cut this piece with a sawzall, and then every single one of these is in the ground, but you actually have to pop this wood top off to get to this piece, which is bolted to this incredibly cool newel post. The, the really crazy part is once we need to get these newel posts out, these newel posts are set in the concrete here. I think we're gonna have to rent a jackhammer. Here I am up on top of the church. 
So what I'm about to start working on is this cool window system here. I mean, all of this is very cool, but these guys are this really cool, super thick chicken wire glass. And what you can see is that it's really inconsistent, the chicken wire, because this stuff was all hand done long ago. So I originally got these, they got some kind of tea, tea bar stuff going on, which went right in here. And of course, like with everything, I thought I'd just get this out and get all the bolts out and I'd pull the windows right clean out, but it's set in stone, like everything here. So it's another challenge that the roto hammer is gonna have to work on. So I hope the neighbors aren't sleeping because I'm about to make some noise. Well, that totally sucked, but about an hour later, my ears are ringing, but we got one of four out.